Hello and welcome to the video on angles of polygons. By the end of this video you should be able to find the sum of the measures of the interior angles or the exterior angles of any convex polygon and find the measure of each individual angle if it happens to be a regular polygon. A few things we're going to have to know here to get started. First of all, you're going to need to remember what the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle add up to. That was a theorem we had way back towards the beginning of the year. If you remember any triangle, the angles always added up to 180 degrees. So in this particular triangle, if I would take angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3, I would get 180 degrees. Well, we can do the same thing for any number of sided polygon. So to do that, we're going to basically make a diagonal. The diagonal of a polygon is a segment that connects two non-consecutive vertices. So there's lots of diagonals in polygons. I want to basically draw all of them in from one single vertex. What I mean by that is this. If I look down at this quadrilateral and pick a vertex, like that vertex there, I'm going to draw all the diagonals in. Well, really, if I connect all the vertices, there's two of them that are already drawn in, that side and that side. The one that's not is my diagonal. So if I take my new point here and connect it to that other vertex, I create a new diagonal here. And by doing that, what I've really done is created two different triangles. I know my line wasn't very straight here, but I've created two different triangles. And if you remember, all the angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. So really, this is two triangles, so it's two 180s, which is why all the angles here are going to have to add up to 360. To help us figure out what the rest of these are going to be, I made a little chart here. Let's fill this in. Our next sided polygon here, our four sided polygon, we know is a quadrilateral. It had four sides, and when I drew that diagonal through, I made two triangles. So two triangles times 180 degrees, that was 360. I can do that same thing with all my other polygons as well. If I do that same thing with a pentagon, I'll pick any vertex I want to, draw all those other diagonals in from that vertex. I basically made three triangles here. So a pentagon is really three triangles, so three times 180, well that's 540 degrees. You can continue that process with really any number of sides. Let's try one more just to make sure the pattern holds. Pick any vertex I want to, draw all the diagonals in from that vertex. I've basically created four triangles in this thing. So my hexagon has four triangles and four times 180 is 720 degrees. Well, the whole point here is to try to find a pattern to what's happening here. And you can see as the number of sides increases by one, the number of triangles is increasing by one. Well, what's the pattern? Well, the pattern is really that the number of triangles is always going to be two less than the number of sides that the polygon has. So for my heptagon, Without even drawing it out, I know my seven-sided object is going to have five triangles. So five times 180, well, that's going to be 900. You can do that same thing with any number of sided polygon. An n-sided polygon is going to have n minus two triangles. And the sum of the measures of those angles then would be the number of sides minus two times 180. That leads us to two different theorems. The first theorem is the one we really just showed using the example. It's the interior angle sum theorem for any convex polygon. It says the sum of the measures of the interior angles of any n-sided convex polygon is given by the formula of the number of sides minus 2 times 180 degrees. There is a second theorem in this section and it's called the exterior angle sum theorem. The sum of the measures of those exterior angles is always going to be the same. To do this, I'm basically going to start with some very basic sh shapes. Let's start with the simplest of three-sided polygons. Our three-sided polygon, we know an equilateral polygon or an equilateral triangle has 60 degree angles in it. What this is basically saying is that when I add up all the exterior angles, so one at each vertex, that all those exterior angles should add up to something as well. Well, if my interior angle is 60, I know using my supplementary angles here of my linear pair that the exterior angle's got to be 120. So three 120s 
Well, that's 360 degrees. The question is, is that pattern gonna hold? Well, let's do it with a four-sided object as well. Well, a very simple four-sided object we know is a square. If I add in all those exterior angles as well, well, then all those exterior angles are also 90 degrees because again, linear pairs have to add up to 180. Four 90s is also 360. Well, I can continue that pattern and keep showing you, but when I take one exterior angle at each vertex, no matter how many sides this thing has, the exterior angles will always add up to 360 degrees. Let's try a few sample problems. The first one, find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a dodecagon. A couple things we need to know here. First of all, interior angles. So if I'm trying to find the sum of the interior angles, I know I'm gonna use that n minus two times 180 formula. So what's the number of sides here? Well, a dodecagon, if you remember back to the other day, that has 12 sides. So 12 minus two, times 180 is really 10 180s, or 1800 degrees. We did that problem without drawing the picture. You could if you wanted to, but basically if you would draw out a dodecagon, it started drawing all those diagonals in, you would get 10 triangles. Well, we can use that same idea to solve our problem number two. We'll find the measure of each interior angle of this polygon. Well, the first thing we want to know is what they're all going to add up to. If I look at this object, I notice it has five sides, so it's a pentagon. The number of sides minus two times 180 is five minus two, or three 180s. Three 180s, if you remember, was 540 degrees. That's what all these angles here are gonna add up to. Now that I know that, I can actually solve this problem. I just figured out that the sum of all these angles is 540 degrees, so now I'm gonna write an equation. 2x minus 1, that's angle A, plus angle B is 142, plus angle C is 2x, plus angle D is 3x plus 12, plus angle E is 3x plus 17. All those add up to be the 540. I can now combine together my like terms. I have some x's here I can combine together. 2x plus 2x plus 3x plus 3x, well that's 10x. When I combine together all those numbers, I get a negative one plus 142 plus 12 plus 17. And when I do that, I get 170, and that is equal to 540 degrees. When I subtract the 170 from both sides, I get 10 X is 370 degrees, and then divide by 10, that means X is 37. Well, we're really not done here yet. The problem said find the measure of each of the interior angles. So I'm gonna have to plug that number back in. 37 times two is 74. 74 minus one is 73 degrees. And if I plug it in everywhere else as well, well, B I knew already, that's the 142. Angle C is two axes. Well, two 37s would be that 74 degrees. Plug it into D as well, three times 37 plus 12, while well, three 37s is 111, plus 12 is 123 degrees. And letter E, the measure of that angle, well, that's really just five more, because 17 is five more than 12, five more than that should be 128. We can quickly make sure we did this right by re-adding all our angles together. And when I do that, 73 plus 142 plus 74 plus 123 plus my 128 do indeed add up to 540 degrees. Let's try a few other problems. Problem number three, find the measures of each individual exterior and interior angle of a convex regular octagon. Well, an octagon has eight sides, and we know this thing is convex and regular, which means they were all the same size. Well, if all the sides are the same size, all the angles are as well. So if all these angles are the same size, I just really need to figure out what one, or what they all add up to, and then I can divide by eight. Well, how do I figure out what they all add up to? Well, number of sides minus two times 180 is the sum of the measures of any convex polygon. 
Number of sides for an octagon was eight. Eight minus two is six. Six 180s is 1,080 degrees. Well, that's again the sum of them. That's not what this problem really asked me for. It's asking for the measure of each interior and exterior. So if they all add up to that, I can now take my 1,080 and divide it by eight. And when I do that, I get 135 degrees. Well, now that I have that, I can figure out the measure of an exterior angle as well. Remember an exterior angle, when you have that, it and the interior angle have to be supplements. So when I do 180 minus the 135, I get 45 degrees out here. Problem number four is really asking us to do the exact same thing. And I could go through that same process one more time. I'm, however, gonna do problem four a different way. For problem number three, I started by working with my interior angles first and then going to my exterior angles later. Well, you could also go the other direction and do exteriors first. I wanna find the measure of the exterior and interior angles of a regular 24-sided object. Well, the exterior angles, remember, the sum of the measures of those is always 360. I can just take 360 and divide by 24, and when I do that, I get 15 degrees. That's the measure of my exterior angle. Once I have that, if I have my exterior angle, I know an interior angle and an exterior angle always have to add up to 180 degrees. So I can just do the 180 minus 15 to get my interior angle of 165 degrees. And one last problem, the measure of the interior angles of a regular polygon is 108. Find the number of sides of that polygon. There's a couple different ways to do this. One of them is significantly easier than the others, and that's the way I'm gonna show you here. The easy way here is again, like the previous problem, to use exterior angles. If I know an interior angle is 108, I can very quickly know what the measure of one exterior angle is. One exterior angle, remember, and an interior angle always add up to 180. So when I do 180 minus the interior angle of 108, I can get 72 degrees for my exterior angle. Well, really they're asking you how many sides this thing has. Well, remember all the extra angles always add up to 360. So if each one is 72 and they're all the same size because we were told it's regular, then when I divide those out, 360 divided by 72 would be five. This thing must be a pentagon. That is the end of our video on the angles of polygons. Have a wonderful day.